Oh man, do we have a lot of packages. Camera, camera, camera. This is a long overdue episode of Mail Time. We didn't do one in November. The December edition of Mail Time is about to be pretty lit. How's everyone's 2020 going? This is the first video on the channel in 2020. Happy New Year, everybody. Also too, y'all know we drippy on set today. We got that brand new Blazonary tie dye tee. Y'all can definitely go peep this on blazonary.com. Let's try and shoot for a like goal of maybe 10 to 12,000 likes. Let's go ahead and start with a random package because like I said, there's so much to start with. We make this a monthly series on the channel. So if you haven't already, subscribe and be sure to catch every mail time. If you like seeing me unbox really cool items that are relevant, everything I get is normally within the time frame of the month if it's brand new. And sometimes I get a lot of old stuff too. So there's a big mix and match of things that we're gonna find on this unboxing. But we have to start a Nike box and I'm missing my uh, my knife. Let's see, we're using the blue Supreme box cutter today. We have a Nike box. Unfortunately, this isn't my size. The Air Jordan 11, one of the most iconic sneakers in history, of course, releasing originally in 1996. We have the Air Jordan 11 bread colorway. This is a size seven youth, so this would better fit Val than it would me. I didn't manage to get these in my size, but I think these will go up over time, so I'm gonna sell this pair. This sneaker is arguably one of the most iconic of all time. And I'd love to hear what you guys have to think in the comments section below. My favorite model, the Air Jordan 11, I think I'd have to go with the Columbias. Next up, this appears to be a Supreme package. So just two items in this package. We'll go ahead and start with something I got for the personal. Normally, I never buy Supreme hats. And that's just because I don't think I'm a hat guy. But when I saw this, it looks like a regular hat. New era, actually, fitted. But did anybody mention the fur? I think that was pretty surprised. How ridiculous. This is a Supreme made product. I mean, I think it's really cool. It features the Supreme embroidered box logo that everybody knows. It also has on the inside, the flaps. Team of the century embroidered on the back. Now I am gonna undes this one too. I'm not gonna resell it either. This is the Bandana Fleece Neck Gator. It released right around the same time as the Bandana Box logos. I think it was a very fitting occasion. And I definitely am gonna get some use out of this because Neck Gators are a really underrated item when it comes to like being prepared for the cold. Oh yes. One of the newest Supreme Box logos that has debuted that I haven't showed on my channel is the Supreme San Francisco Box logo. And we have an orange on black box logo. Orange is a big color, I feel like, for 2019. They also, of course, feature on the back of pretty much every store opening, some sort of commemoration to the location. And I got it for a great price because the market really went down on them. I guess they produced a ton of them and people were unaware of that. So it's safe to say I did undes it and I am gonna keep it for myself. As most store box logos do, over time, they just increase in value. An unwrapped item, but I feel like we should definitely cover it. My friend Cam went to the Astro World Fest. Oh, this is actually my hoodie. Hang on. My friend Cam went to the Astro World Fest, and when he was there, he managed to get me the Astro Staff hoodie, which was really nice of him. I of course paid him for it. 100 bucks at the show. So Travis was definitely getting his merch bread while he could. The print creates an interesting raised texture, which kind of adds to the quality of the hoodie, I would say, and the back commemorating the event. So shout out to Cam, really appreciate you, buddy. Unfortunately, his merch takes a very long time to ship, and I mean months. So this was stuff that I ordered maybe in October or something when he dropped his highest in the room. And in this one, I just got a t-shirt to keep and a t-shirt to sell. The tie-dye tees, I think of course, if you hold on to them brand new for a year, you will see a value increase in the fact that they're brand new. So one of my favorite shirts from his highest in the room drop was this print of the tie-dye. So let's begin. To start, this is pretty cool. It's a mini replica Nike box featuring Supreme detailing and like a little size tag. Inside the box, there's two components. The instruction manual? So many languages. Can you get the memo? Well, during the horn honking, I was able to find, I was able to find that these uh, mean absolutely nothing. But what does mean something,
I'd like to take a brief intermission to thank our sponsor, Fashion Nova, for sending me out some pretty cool clothes in this clip right here. So this first style, we have some plain ripped skinny jeans. I really like the color on this pair and the subtle knee rips that the design has on each of the pant legs. Next up, we have a red puffer jacket. I was amazed by the low cost of a jacket like this. A jacket like this could retail for like $300. It's definitely perfect for the upcoming season. Right here, we have some cargo pants. This style really caught my attention with some of the detailing, like these buckles on the sides and the pockets. With a nice tapered leg, this is definitely another great one to have for the fall rotation. Right here, we have another pair of skinny jeans with some little paint splatters. That's a really nice detail. I decided to go with a biker denim style and it has the tapered zippers on the bottom. And for the final item, I thought it was gonna be perfect because there's some new bandana stuff coming out that I really wanna wear and it has bandana rips. Make sure you guys click the link in the description below to shop all these items and get yourself a good deal. It's the holiday season. So thank you to Fashion Nova Men for sponsoring this segment of the Mail Time. So within this little dust bag are the Nike and Supreme sunglasses. Two different Nike logos on each end of the sunglasses. And let me tell you, one cool looking pair of shades. They kind of hurt my eyes with everything going on, unless there's a sticker on the front. There is. Can I get an opinion? Do I look like, um, like I'm a 2004 Nerf advertisement? We also have a new bandana coming in at around, I think, $20. We just have the Nike and Supreme logos all around it. They really outdone themselves on this. I could smell it right away. A leather Supreme Nike duffel bag. I think this will hold tremendous value within a few years. It's not gonna be right now. I don't really wanna open it and mess with it all that much. So I'm just gonna put it back in its wrapping. They did jackets and I think that was it for the other leather goods. But also on this drop day, there was a new headband. I like having the headbands and I think this one is, uh, is really nice. It's got the Supreme London on the back, Paris and New York on the other side. So it's kind of like an international headband. And I wish my hair was as long as 2017 Blazonary because I could rock a mad flow throughout the whole headband. We have just a headband. It'll keep you warm. And of course, the standard red box logos and the parachute band. From time to time, I get presents from Gucci. I very much appreciate it because it's a really nice gesture. From, I already know, I mean, the letters right here, but shout out my man Ron. I'm a little late on the fact that it's Christmas, but I really appreciate Ron sending this out. This is a really cool card. That's really dope. You could frame that. So the book is, I'm assuming, just Santa and some Gucci products. And I'm assuming with a little bit of a holiday vibe to them. Unfortunately, I can't pull this item out of the bag. It's a Supreme North Face collaboration. I got it in a size small to resell. It's the statue hoodie. A ton of stickers in this package. The Navy New York patch beanie. I'm gonna definitely keep this one. And the Ganesh waffle shorts. Shorts go for a lot over time, depending on what they are. This print in particular was only printed on two different items. So I think we should see some pretty well return if you bought this item and are keeping it brand new for the next year or two. One of the best prints this season, the Supreme Statue of Liberty stuff. I gotta say, I love this collection, being a New Yorker. I am gonna keep this one sealed. I'm not gonna sell it. Just hold on to that thought. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it for when I make my move to New York. So this is another Statue of Liberty piece. This is the Statue of Liberty mountain jacket. They did another one, the Ball Toro jacket. And it's actually funny because my friend Max, who helps me buy and sell Supreme, we oftentimes go for drops together. Max happened to actually get a size large in the Ball Toro jacket, the jacket that I preferred. So we decided to make an even trade, being we got both at retail, to swap jackets for my small for his large. If you don't know who Max is, we recently made a really awesome in-depth video that y'all apparently loved, the bespoke video, where we made our own Nike sneakers. Arguably one of the best TNFs within the last couple years. This jacket has the Statue of Liberty face right on the front and the same on the back. It's one of three colors, and I actually have the other color as well. But my friend Daniel, who runs a little cook group, I'll leave that uh, right here on the screen for you, managed to get me the black colorway of this jacket. Seriously, big shout out to him for scooping this up for me for retail. You already know I'm gonna keep it. 
to help complete my Supreme collection. The black colorway might even be better than the red just because of the fact you don't see any of the trim detailing. Notice how you see the trim detailing right here, but it's just clean all the way throughout on this jacket. Part of the Supreme North Face drop, this is another shirt that I'm gonna sell, size small, Statue of Liberty t-shirt. Right here we have the Supreme book. I'm not sure if this is reselling right now, but for the good cause of reselling, I am gonna keep this sealed up because I'm personally not gonna get as much enjoyment out of it as someone five years from now would. But it had a pretty expensive retail price of right around $50. Right here we have a Kanye crew neck. I thought his new album was pretty good, but he also made some merch for his album drop. The story goes with Kanye, every album drop merch does well over time. And I think I'm gonna hold on to this one again in its brand new packaging, just because I think it will see some value within the next few years. Not exactly right now, because anybody who wanted it could have just went and bought it. So we just got a lot of Supreme packages. Another Supreme Liberty backpack. I got the red backpack and the black backpack. We also have, I did a little preview of these on my Instagram just cause I had never seen it. My dad got one too. The Supreme gold plated dumbbell. I don't think it's actually gold plated, but it was very expensive and it's a five pound dumbbell. Literally, there's nothing else you can show off other than the Supreme logo that's embossed on the metal. We have a wool S logo six panel hat. Uh, I'm just gonna sell it because like I've said in this video, I'm not a hat wearer and it's just a cream colored S logo. Anything with the S logo generally does very well as a lot of people like to collect that stuff. Like they did the S logo beanies. They did this colorway of the S logo earlier this season and they finished it off with some beanies and another Nike bandana which I'm gonna go ahead and keep dead stock to sell. Another colorway of the Nike glasses, but this time in a darker red. Uh, the color is a little less appealing as it's got a yellow and green on the edges of the glasses. Once again, I really love this box detailing though. They restocked the Pelican cases, so I was able to get a red color this time. Up there, I have the blue one. Not sure if it's in focus. I think it is up there. I'll grab it. It was a silent restock. Uh, it just came with a bunch of other items that dropped on the day. And lastly, another bandana. This one is just a random one that they did. I'm going to keep it brand new. All the stickers that came with this. Ton of box logos. That cool building one. The Martin Wong. And that little graphic. And we're still getting the parachute, man. Now that we got all the Supreme ones out of the way, let's talk about everything not Supreme. Coming in from Nike, we have the Kyrie 6 Preheat. Preheat colorways go for a lot of money, but I haven't bought a Kyrie sneaker since, well, I feel like the Kyrie Easter eggs when I did an entire review video about those years ago. They kind of went crazy on the outside of the box. Okay. These are the Kyrie 6 Preheat. What you can expect from a preheat colorway is a mash of all different sorts of prints, patterns, materials. The eye detailing, pretty cool. I mean, this is just a loud sneaker. I am very curious to see how these are gonna do over time. So as a casual reseller, we'll put them back in the box. All right, in this box, we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. So I did not buy these for retail, unfortunately. Got them off the sneaker con app the brand new shattered backboards in this kind of reflective glossy look on the outside. I'm a little bit more of a fan seeing this upper in person. It kind of looks like duct tape almost. If you can imagine someone literally duct taped a sneaker, that leather does not smell good. Oxidized look on the bottom, like it really comes yellow. I remember buying this because it was on sale. That's not to be offensive. <laughs> But when you take 40 bucks off something, it's kind of a good deal. In my size, I found the Golf LaFleur Tyler the Creator Converse. My friend TJ, I remember he got these. But wow, that is a really nice print on that upper. I love the purple. That's definitely why I bought the sneaker. And I think it's pretty cool that I got them once again for under retail. So I felt like it was a good move. Oop, I actually realized that I wasn't done to Supreme, but these are really cool. I was talking about the bandana box logos a lot this video and I haven't shown them off because I was waiting to open this package. I got the red hoodie, the pink hoodie, and a black hoodie. So I've got three of them. And as far as the t-shirts go, well, I was only lucky on one of them. I got this one for retail, the bandana box logo tee in navy in a size large. And I hope one day I get to use this. Use it as a pool floaty. Hopefully it floats. 
I'm not gonna blow it up. Here's a picture of it. So these are getting a lot of mixed reviews on the internet. I'm gonna give you my opinion of it right now. This is the Nike Air Jordan 1 Fearless. The first being it's not a traditional Nike Air Jordan 1. It's a Zoom Air, whatever that means. So this is not the Air Jordan 1 High OG. That's a flash picture taken of these sneakers. They're crazy. And I'm not sure where the box went for this, but the last pickup of this video, this Adidas Yeezy restock. Had to pick up a pair of zebras. A lot of people got them. My dad got them. I got them. I hope you enjoyed this mail time. If you did enjoy, be sure to slap a like and drop a comment down below on what your favorite item was for this entire video. I'll see you guys next month in mail time. And with that being said, actually, I don't know. I went pretty hard on Christmas. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll see y'all in February with mail time. Thank you for watching. Stay subscribed, turn on those post notifications to check out my other videos. Check out the merch, blazing.com. See you guys very soon. It's Blazing. Love you guys. I'm out. Stay positive.